guys, it's Cloudy. How are you all today? I am so pumped to be doing this video because we are finally talking about Yuri on Ice. <laughs> I haven't been this excited about a series since free. <laughs> you know what? I skipped Yuri on Ice when it came out because I didn't want to get caught up in all the boys love hype and all like the yaoi fanfiction and I felt like it was somewhat overrated because I had anticipated a skating anime after all the hype with Japanese figure skater Yuzuru Hanyu and all of his lovely Olympic records. So I finally watched Yuri on Ice because for the last two weeks I've been on a crazy long binge of all the series that I've missed throughout the previous seasons of anime. Like I watched 16 episodes of Boruto in one night. The marathon game has been pretty strong recently for me and I did actually watch the entire Yuri on Ice in one sitting and I stayed up till like 3 a.m. to do that. It was super super worth it though. When I was asking around if people liked Yuri on Ice, I either got incoherent screaming in my face or people were like, oh, you shouldn't watch it. It's like full of screaming fangirls and shipping and there's no real plot. That is incorrect. Yuri on Ice is really, really good. It legitimately has plot and good pacing and great characters and suspense. And the homosexual undertones are a very, very, very small part of the series that fangirls have somehow exaggerated and blown up. I do think that there are a lot of points in Yuri on Ice that are worth pulling out and there is a lot in Yuri on Ice that is worth watching despite the fact that you're not a boys love obsessed fangirl. Yuri on Ice was produced by MAPPA and directed by Sayo Yamamoto. The figure skating routines were actually made by a professional Japanese skater, a really, really famous one. So I was really surprised at how legit this series felt in terms of the animation. It follows a boy named Yuri Katsuki who has pretty much arrived at his last season of figure skating. He's in his early 20s, he hasn't really made a name for himself, and he is probably going to retire from figure skating pretty soon. But some kids in his hometown end up filming him emulating and copying a really famous figure skater's routine. This goes pretty viral because it's a nobody trying to be a somebody and this somebody is Viktor Nikoforov who is a really famous however many times world champion skater and he ends up going to Yuri's tiny little town to coach him on how to win the gold medal in figure skating. And yes, that is completely far-fetched and that probably doesn't happen very often or at all in real life. However, the series' style of comedy allows this sort of weird little plot twist to go through and you don't really question it that much. The main point of the series is Victor coaching Yuri and getting them together and exploring Yuri's feelings and his passion for figure skating which consequently gets entangled for his feelings for Victor which is partially idolatry because he really admires Victor and it's partially a sort of romantic love. So a lot of different feelings of love and respect and worship get entangled within the characters interpersonal relationships. That being said, the figure skating is really freaking awesome. It is so cool to watch. In terms of this season, Ballroom Yokoso, I was looking forward to the animation being a lot more fluid and more dynamic. Yuri on Ice has that sort of dynamism that you really need in sports animation. There's just something about the series and something about the sort of warm-hearted comedy that really draws you in to the plot line as well. It it doesn't take very long for you to sympathize with Yuri as a main character and he becomes this really really lovable underdog. You really want him to win gold and win Victor's love and be best friends with Yuri Piletsky forever. I see why it won the hearts of so many fangirls but the animation style isn't as bishonen as I thought it would be. I do think it genuinely is aiming to be a legit sports anime and it has achieved that. I know a lot of figure skaters actually followed the series really closely closely and I was really surprised by how wide-ranging and how powerful the series has become grabbing people's attention and hearts. When I was watching Free, I liked Free a lot because the boys were really cute 
with their friendships and all their backstories. In terms of Yuri on Ice, there isn't that sort of backstory angst. There's a lot of pushing forward, looking to the future, accomplishing goals, and I like that sort of motivation in the story. As well, I do like how the side characters were portrayed. There are some stereotypical depictions of certain characters, certain personas. Each character that represents each country is very determined. I liked that a lot. We took figure skating really serious and we portrayed a lot of the feelings of anxiety and nervousness and determination and lacking that a lot of athletes experience when they're training and when they're competing. You have to remember that a lot of these Olympic figure skaters and professional figure skaters are as young as like 16 and 17 and as old as 20 or 21, 22. If you pay really close attention to Yuri on Ice, you will find that it has a lot of merit to the way it portrays figure skating, to the way it portrays sports mind sets, personal growth and exploration and I really really like that about a series and I actually really want to re-watch the series and I'm really looking forward to a second season of Yuri on Ice because there's so much more like you want to see Yuri grow so much there's so little of him that we've seen in the 12 13 episodes in the first season I'd love to see more of him in a second season and I'm pretty sure there is going to be a second season of Yuri on Ice so if you guys haven't watched Yuri on Ice I super super recommend it whether you are a fangirl who is just watching it for the boys love undertones or you consider yourself a more serious anime viewer and you want to watch a show for its plot and its character development this series is pretty pretty freaking awesome. It absolutely deserves as much attention that it's gotten. You're totally missing out if you haven't watched the series yet. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more from me. I do anime videos or K-pop, K-drama related videos every week. And I hope you guys are well. I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!